My employer interviews the spouse of the candidate. During a one on one conversation with my manager, we discussed a unique aspect of our company's hiring process for leadership positions. She revealed that the executive team has a practice of inviting candidates and their spouses to dinner during the interview process. The purpose behind this unusual step is to observe how the candidate's spouse interacts during the dinner, which ultimately influences the executive team's decision on whether the candidate is a good fit for the role. To illustrate, my manager shared an example where a candidate's spouse was overly talkative during the dinner, leading to the conclusion that the candidate might struggle to assert themselves effectively. In this instance, it was seen as a warning sign that the candidate might not be suitable for the position. The words used were there was one candidate we dodged a bullet with. I sort of sat there in silence after my manager was done talking. I couldn't believe what I just heard. What if they aren't married? This is certainly in the list of dumb things in a long list of dumb management games. The amount of potential familial marital status discrimination is ridiculous. You might want to secretly inform the legal department that this is happening. This is probably a sign that you should be considering your exit strategy. This is unbelievably toxic behavior and seems potentially illegal. This sounds like some company read Entre Leadership by Dave Ramsey where he says that uses this practice in his company. I always thought that suggestion was weird and too much. How incredibly out of line. Thank you for the invitation however I prefer to keep my work personal life separate so that I can better focus on my productivity and be more efficient and effective for my company. My relationship with my significant other is irrelevant to my qualifications for this position. And if and when they insist you decline the role and plot your departure. Because what in the actual fuck? Tell them you don't let your wife husband leave the house. Management has gone mad with power. The candidate allowed their spouse to talk. They're a coward and a charlatan. Sounds like some Dave Ramsey toxic shit. I'd say yes and then find a same-sex friend to come as your spouse and act as gay as possible. And use language that makes it clear you're the top and they are the bottom. Pseudo intellectuals love to make up convoluted, baseless justifications for selfish or arbitrary decisions. It's the main function of the managerial class to make our naked oppression look so complicated that only a small cadre of special geniuses can actually make it work. These people have no functional clue how stupid or useless they are. They disgust me. They disgust me all the more for their shamelessness. And for the cowardice with which they cling to their bullshit rank and title. They're not serious adults. They're not useful for anything. So many levels of stupidity with this idea. And implied sexism via the implication that he should be curbing her speech. She could be just naturally chatty, or nervous, or a hundred other things. NVM the whole work-home life separation issue. Just gross. That is cult-like. Run. She probably talks a lot when she is nervous. Or maybe she was excited to socialize. I am definitely the talkative one in my relationship I'm female with a male partner. This is very misogynistic thinking. That a woman needs to be quiet and submissive. Or that a man should have control of his wife. How interesting I have a similar test if a company uses arbitrary data points that have nothing to do with the job to make decisions about candidates. It leads me to the conclusion that management doesn't understand how to make informed decisions. That's absolutely insane. And very probably illegal. I appreciate everyone's thoughts so far. Does anybody know what actual labor laws are put into question here as well as what I should do to make a change? 
hiring managers, HR departments etc. are seriously going off the deep end in America. They're all insane. Looks like the candidate is the one who dodged the bullet. Yikes a roni that's cringe. Sorry I am not married or in a relationship. Oh but you said you were married. I was referring to my late husband wife and it is a personal matter that I no longer would like to discuss with you. I'm sorry fucking what? I've had to co-interview with both of my spouse's ex and current. In case that's confusing for executive leadership positions. I had to do this with my ex-husband for more than one job. Actually, personally, I think it's ludicrous. But I'm not going to stand in the way of someone I love getting a position they want because of my stance on it. On the other hand, I won't bring a partner to a work event of any kind. I firmly believe in separation of church and state. They work with me. They don't need to know jack all about my personal life. Period. Married people with kids are more easily exploited because it takes more punishment for them to jump ship than those who aren't tied down. Because heaven forbid the spouse was just nervous and gets talkative while nervous. This is a definitely a BS discriminatory practice and reminds me of the Mad Men era. You don't have to be in a well-functioning marriage or be able to fake it well to be a good executive. What about the 55 of US adults who aren't married? Are they not getting hired promoted? Wow that sounds very 1950s. Wow just another example of wrong-minded business thought. I bet the same people's spouses couldn't stand up to that level of scrutiny. I'd run. And not look back. This opens the door for all kinds of discrimination against single people. People married to someone of a different race, the same gender, etc., etc., etc. It also leaves the company exposed to lawsuits in addition to just being insane. Straight out of the 1950s I'd leave ASAP. Holy red flags. Everything about this is horrifying honestly. That to me just says the bosses have no idea what is involved with the job so they make up arbitrary metrics to make themselves feel like they are doing something productive. They are not. So if you're single or divorced, are you out of the running automatically? Ah yes. She often greets me first thing by saying, Good morning. May your poo be firm but not hard to poop out. I respond with the correct response of may your bum be clean and poo healthy. I know this used to be more commonplace practice in the 50s, 60s, 70s. But it's been over 50 years since then. And times have changed significantly. The fact they are still keeping this archaic practice alive is a huge red flag. Have your exit strategy planned. I don't see what the problem is. My right hand has went to every interview I've ever been on. I act completely different with my fiancé than I do at work. At work I'm much more assertive and dominant but when I'm with my fiancé I can turn my brain off. And the assertiveness and dominance goes away. This is a shitty way to determine if someone is leadership capable. LOL. Who in the hell would subject themselves and their spouse to this? It better pay mid six figures and up to even entertain jumping through those hoops. I'd bring my wife's urn and plop it on the table. Musical note that's a legal musical note hands clapping hands clapping hands clapping hands clapping hands clapping. What in the actual fuck? No. Nope. No. If this was something I heard about at any company I worked for. Resumes would be sent the next day. How you and your spouse interact at a dinner with an employer is the most insane and stupid thing I have ever seen. That does not make sense either. I am incredibly shy personally but outspoken at work. I am very organized at work. At home I'm a messy clutter bug. 